What's up guys, Kino here, and uh, I was going to record my uh, week 3 match for the Trees House Draft League, but um, unfortunately my opponent uh, did have to forfeit this week because reasons, so instead I'm going to play some OU Blitz. Now what OU Blitz is, is it was kind of it was a version on some of the other Smogon, or Shoutdown um, servers, excuse me, where basically uh, it's regular OU, but you have 10 seconds to make each decision. If you don't click a button in 10 seconds, you auto forfeit. So it's really fast paced, it's really fun, and we're gonna just start playing right now. Alright, so, 30 second team preview. Um, I'm not even sure how well I'm gonna be able to narrate this, because I have to be making decisions so quickly. So, <laughs> we'll, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, here's Como, which uh, is probably gonna be a Z-Move user, so I need to keep Finny healthy. Um, it looks like Zapdos matches up really well against his entire team, so I'm gonna go ahead and lead that, and Charizard can absolutely win if I get a Dragon Dance up. So that's the game plan, is he leads Superior. Can't glare me, we're just gonna go straight for the HP Ice, I don't care what he- Oh, he switches into Lenders, I don't know why, but we're gonna- we're gonna 2 kill that real quick. We can defog right after this goes down. I'm not gonna try and predict the Greninja or the Lele or anything like that, we're just gonna attack it. I'm gonna turn timer on this, but you got 10 seconds, dog. Oh, 15 seconds, not 10 seconds. My bad, I thought it was 10. So he gets his rocks up, but I don't think he has anything that stops me from defogging. He's Greninja. This could be Protean Ice Beam, which I guess I'll scout for by going into my Tapu Fini, which also does have defog. See Hydro Pumps, and he's Life Orb. Ooh. But he's not Protean, so he doesn't have Gunk Shot. I'm sorry, yeah, he's not Protean, so he doesn't have Gunk Shot. So we're going to defog these rocks away right here. He does have... Oh, he's like... Okay, so Battle Bond can't have Gunk Shot. So this has to be... Uh, Torrent? Is this really Torrent? That's wild. We're gonna scout for HP Fire as he is goes into Celesteel. I should've just, whatever, it's fine. Um, gonna go right into my Zapdos here as he atomizes. We're going to discharge this, try and slow him down, also do a nice chunk of damage. I'm really not worried about this Celesteela. None of, it, none of its Z-moves can really do much to me. As he goes into Superior, but again, we're just gonna HP Ice this. Zapdos does really well against his team, that's awesome. He goes into Tapu Lele, but um, Tangrowth Assault Vest can always take a hit. If he goes for a Psychic Attack, I can pivot. In hidden Power. Okay, Hidden Power Fire didn't do anything. We're going to... Uh, I know he's going to go into Coma O here. Uh, I think we just Earthquake? I'm going to knock. I'm going to knock. Actually, no. Yeah, that's this is fine. Uh, I can go into Zapdos again. The Coma O is not Z, because the Celesteel is more than likely Z since it's a Totemize. So we're going to go into our Zapdos here. My opponent's got five seconds left. You better... Yo, you got to click a button, bro. You got to click a button. Go for Leaf Seed or something. Air Slash, you don't have Leaf Seed. Don't know. Just going to Discharge once again. No prediction needed. Just going to attack what's in front of me as he goes into Coma O, but I can... Ah, uh, you know what? The Celesteel is not... Oh, I knocked off a Celesteel's metronome. I'm glad I just caught that. He's probably going to use his Z, mount and his Z now. We're going to go into Finny to try and block that. As we do block the Clangorous Soul Blaze, which is awesome, we're just going to fire off a Moonblast now. Earthquake does not knock us out. Coma O goes down. And this game is looking like a wrap, because that was definitely the most threatening thing he had on his team, as he's going to forfeit, and we win the first game of OU Blitz. Nice. Let's just go ahead and uh, play another one. I got a couple teams, so I'll probably uh, switch around teams a little bit. My opponent has Blacephalon, which is terrifying, but we have Tyranitar, which is awesome for that. So, uh, 30 second team preview. I need to keep uh, Pharaoh slash Tangrowth healthy. Oh, he can just Volt Switch on either of those into Blacephalon. That's terrifying, but I can go into Tyranitar, so that's actually not that scary. I'm going to lead Zapdos again, because I do think it's a quite good lead against his team. And I'm just going to HP Ice here. This could be Focus Sash. No, he's not Focus Sash. Okay, I was thinking he could be Focus Sash lead Landorus, but he's clearly not. He's going to go into his Tyranitar here. Uh, we're gonna go Finny, as he doesn't defog, thankfully. He goes for Dragon Dance, which is actually scarier. Um, but, oh, he goes for another Dragon Dance. Moonblast is not doing enough. Oh boy, this just got really, really scary. Uh, really depends on what set this thing is. Stone Age is not knocking me out. I'm just, yeah, I'm definitely trading Finny for this T-Tar right now. Um, if he has Fire Punch, uh, I'm in a lot of... Oh, he, there's Fire Punch. <laughs> I guess he's got Fire Punch, right? Um, he might just have to... I just, he might need to just miss a Stone Edge. I might need him to just miss a Stone Edge. Um, oof, I gotta click a button. Oh, you know what? Zapdos probably doesn't even kill it. Oh, he has Ice Punch too. This was a super misplay. Oh, and he, he, didn't, he didn't miss Stone Edge anyways. Well, we're gonna go T-Tar here and hope he misses another... Uh, oh, well, see if he could have Earthquake, but we're gonna hope he misses Stone Edge. That's like the win con right now. As he crunches me for uh, half my health. That was still really good for him though, because uh, it's weakening my T-Tar for the Placephalon. So he's gonna go into his Landorus. Um, I'm just gonna go into... Tangrowth, he could very easily U-turn. I think he's gonna, he's probably Scarf, so I'm thinking he's gonna double here. I'm actually gonna knock off. I think knock off's a fairly safe play here as he goes into his Ferrothorn. This is like my only time to get into Charizard. So we're gonna go into Zard here. Um, 
Do I just Flare Blitz immediately or do I Dragon Dance? I think I'm going to Mega Evolve and Dragon Dance. He's probably just going to Leech Seed here as he does. That's fine. I'm going to Dragon Dance again. Hopefully I can just, yep, on the Protect, knock out uh, hopefully something. I also have Roost. I could Dragon Dance a third time too if I really wanted to, but if there's no way this has like Toxic or something. I'm just going to Flare Blitz. So he goes into Pex. Did a lot of damage, but we can, uh, uh, we can Roost it off, but he's got Haze. I think he's going to, he, no, he's not going to go. He didn't go Lando. I thought he'd go uh, Lando on the Earthquake, but that's fine. We're at like a lot of HP now. Is he toxics me, which is really, really bad. Really, really bad. I definitely should have attacked instead of Earthquake here, but is he hazes again? Uh, does another Earthquake knock him out? I don't know. Yes, it does. So that's good. Pex is gone. That makes life a little bit easier. He's going to go into Lando here. It's very possibly Scarf. Um, uh, this dies to rocks anyway, so I'm just going to go for the Flare Blitz. U-turn doesn't knock me out, so I actually get a kill here, which is really cool. If I roosted, that would have been sick, but Ferrothorn goes down, which is sick. Tyranitar is actually looking pretty good right now. Titar plus um, Magirna could actually put in a lot of work. Uh, I'm going to go Titar here in case he goes Blacephalon, as he does, and we're going to we're gonna Pursuit Trap this thing right now, because this thing is such an enormous threat. And uh, even if he stays in, I think Pursuit should kill. Yeah, he tries to switch out, so we get rid of that. And now, I, I think we're good. I don't really need Tyranitar for anything. I'm just going to let him knock me out with the U-turn, as now he has to go into Magirna. Um, but let's see, I'm pretty sure I can just Leech Seed up on this. Oh, he's, oh well, obviously he's Focus Blast, but we can protect here. As he goes for another Focus Blast, that's fine. I can go into Tangrowth. Tangrowth should be able to sponge any hit as he goes into his Landorus, which is super fine. Uh, I'm just going to, I guess I'm just going to Giga Drain here. He's not Sky Strike, he's Scarf. I could, I'm going to, yeah, I'll... You know what, I'm gonna make the, ooh, I'm gonna make the Earthquake play, because he's, yeah, he's probably U-turning into uh, Magirna, so I'm definitely making that Earthquake play. He shook a berry, which is actually not bad, because um, that means he can't really touch my, um, it means he's not Z, which is really good. So I'm gonna protect here again, as uh, he's gonna run out of Focus Blast eventually, right? I can actually just go into my Tangrowth here, and stall out some Focus Blasts. Is he only, ha he has four left, and like he's gotta miss eventually, right? <laughs> right? He'll miss this one. Oh, he doesn't miss. So lucky. And he's got the Soul Heart boost, so that's kind of rough. But, um, let's see. Earthquake. Oh, Ice Moon just knocked me out. All right, he got that one. That was a hard game. That was a super hard game. That Tyranitar Dragon Dancing up was really hard for me. So, we're 1-1 with this team. Let's see if we can win the best of three with this team. My opponent has a really weird-looking team. Mega Scizor, Gliscor, Clefable. I don't know what this is going to do, but, um, let's see... What's a good lead here? If I had Heat Wave on Zapdos, I'd absolutely lose Zapdos. I think this is still a pretty good lead, though, to be honest. Um, Charizard's absolutely going to obliterate his team, actually, which is awesome. Um, T-Tard's actually looking like a decent lead, too. Maybe not. All right, I think Zapdos is the lead again. As he leads the uh, Magician's Red. All right, cool. Um, let's see. Do I want to go Finny here? I could. I know he's just going to... He's going to Magma Storm to try and weakness. I think I'm just... Uh, I'm going to try and... Um, I'm just going to go T-Tar and Earthquake this. He's toxic. Okay, so he's not... He might not be Magma Storm. Um, should I Earthquake here? I'm going to go for the Stone Edge because um, Gliscor is a pretty pretty easy play. He's going to scout for it, but that's fine. I'm definitely still going to Stone Edge. I'm choice banned, so like something's taking a shitload of damage anyways. Yeah, Gliscor takes half. I don't know if I'm fast or not, but I'd assume he want to Roost. I'm going to go for another Edge as he goes into Scizor, which is fine. We have a pretty easy, we have a couple pretty easy checks to that. We're going to go into Zapdos for this specifically as he takes some Rocky Helmet damage, which is awesome. Um, I don't want him to Roost for free, uh, so I'm going to Discharge here. If he goes Gliscor, I just HP Ice on the following turn. This revealed Toxic, and I really don't want to be Toxic, so I'm actually going to go into my Tapu Fini here. If he goes for Magma Storm, we dodge it, which is cool, skillfully. We can just throw off Scalds now. He's probably going to go into Fer um, Tangrowth. It's pretty free, but um, I'm going to do it anyways. As he opts to Magma Storm me again. Don't know why, but I'm just going to click Scald again. As he protects. Okay, cool. I'm happy for you. I kind of want a Nature's Madness on the Switch. How much did my Scald do? He did 46. No, I'm going to Scald again. He might be crazy and stay in. As he goes Coco, no burn though, unfortunately. Um, but we can definitely just go Ferrothorn on this. He, dude, this the guy's team is so offensive. It's actually crazy. Um, I think we just go right back into Tapu Fini, however. Yeah, so, well, he's probably going to mag, he's going to do fire move, right? So we can go T-Tar. No, I don't, actually, I don't want sand wearing down Finny. I'm just going to go straight into Finny. My opponent's got five seconds left. He's got to make a choice. Oh, and he times out. That's so unfortunate. But you got to be making quick decisions in OU Blitz. That's what uh, this meta, this uh, this format's here for. So we win, uh, let's say we win with this team 2-1. Let's use uh, another team now. I loaded up a few teams for, for this. So this one, just going to be your standard rain. I got a Garchomp on it because, like, I thought Garchomp was really cool right now. 
uh, sword stance, rock EMZ, uh, stealth rocks. So yeah, we're just gonna use this. Rain like applies a lot of pressure as it is, so I think it's like pretty likely to make my force my opponent to make mistakes. My opponent has a very scary team, however, with um, with uh, Coco with Coco's like electric transport with like probably T punch, uh, Metacham, which destroys Palipper and probably fusion bolts uh, Kieran Black. This could definitely be a lead Skarmory. I'm not too sure. Um, I think my Magirna is a pretty decent lead here, though, so I'm gonna go ahead and lead with that. As he does lead Skarmory, I'm expecting this to be the um, expecting this to be like suicide lead Skarmory, as uh, it definitely is gonna be suicide lead Skarmory. Cool. So we're gonna go Pelipper, get our rain up, and we're gonna get these rocks up as he taunts me. Oh, ooh, okay, cool. But um, huh, that was his. We are slower. I want to U-turn. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with this. So we can go Greninja here and threaten um, and threaten our Battle Bond form, which is really good. Uh, I can just go straight for the Surf. That's going to give us Protean. Or sorry, it's going to give us Ash form, not Protean. And now our Water Shurikens are going to be so strong in the rain. As he gets a free Karen Black here. We have Magirna though, so I'm actually not super worried about this Pokemon. If your Earth Power is on the Switch, good play. Fusion Bolt does a ton of damage, but not quite enough damage. And I don't see a good uh, Floor Cannon switch in, so we're just going to go ahead and click that. Uh, because I'm a salt vest, okay. Ooh, that's a lot. Um, yeah, definitely did a lot. I'm gonna. S I guess there's no point in preserving this unless I can get a defog. I'll try and volt switch here as he reveals to be supersonic sky strike, which does absolutely nothing. That's pretty cool. And now we can go. There's two turns of rain left. We can definitely just go into Swampert right now. I'm gonna take some hazards damage, unfortunately, but this like threatens out a lot of his team. Um, yeah, he's gonna. Uh, he's gonna mega evolve with Metacham to try and uh, waste a turn. Um, I think I want to keep Garchomp. I do want to keep Garchomp. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna sack Pelipper. No, I'm not gonna sack Pelipper. That was a bad play. No. Oh my god. Um, so he definitely is Thunder Punch, right? He definitely is Thunder Punch. I need to sack something. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna sack Magirna. That was the real play. I should have sacked Magirna. Unfortunately, I took very unnecessary damage with my Pelipper. But um, damn, that definitely is Ice Punch too. We're gonna go into our Pelipper just to get the rain up. He's definitely gonna knock us out. But that's fine. We'll try and roost. Maybe he'll try and switch. I don't know why he would switch, but he's definitely gonna just knock us out right now. Try and roost just in case he like gets some crazy idea and doesn't knock us out. Yeah, I got weight. I, I definitely let the Pelipper get damaged very unnecessarily, but that's okay because I believe. Let's see. I. Yeah, Ash Gren just probably gets a kill with Surf. Yeah, Coco's gone. He's gonna go back into his Metacham. I'm going to get. Oh, he's going into Kiram. Yeah, I guess that's pretty scary now that uh, <laughs> I sacked my thing. So. We're gonna make the Swampert play. Hopefully, he, oh, he, does, he Earth Powers. All right, good play, good play. We're just gonna Earthquake here, get a nice bit of damage, um, and now we can go. Let's see. I guess I'm trying to win. I'm trying to win with uh, the Greninja, right? So we're gonna go Kingdra here. Should be able to pick up a kill with the Rain boosted, Life Orb boosted Scald. We still got a bunch of turns left too, so I'm gonna let him fake me out. He's gonna have to fake out, or he could Sucker Punch. I don't know if Sucker Punch kills. Sucker Punch probably kills. Well, he went for the fake out route. So this isn't going to do enough, and we have two turns of rain left, and Scald should do enough. If anything, it'll put him in range... Uh, okay, killed him. I'll say, if anything, it'll put him in range of Water Shuriken. So we're going to Scald here just so we can't Swords Dance, and we're going to go into our Garchomp now. He should not be able to knock us out, and we're going to take that with the Garchomp. So despite me making that really bad play of just uh, getting letting my Pelipper take way more damage than it should have, we're still able to take it because our team was super offensive and he just had no switch ins to anything. So we're going to win the first game with this team. This is our- we're getting into our fifth game and it's been 15 minutes, that's awesome. Actually, it's been less than 15 minutes, what am I saying? Alright, my opponent's got Weavile. We're actually fighting a really similar team to the one we just fought, except now he has a Weavile. Um, let's see. Uh, Pelipper looks like a fine lead, honestly. Yeah, I think Pelipper's fine. This is obviously, um, what's it called? It's gonna be Volt Switch, probably. I'm just gonna- he could floor here, and he does. Alright, I make a- wait, was that Specs? That was a lot of damage. Anyways, we're gonna go Garchomp here. Uh, I'm gonna rocks. He shouldn't stay in. He really shouldn't stay in. He's got a Tangrowth. As he misses Floor Cannon, and we're faster, so I'm gonna Earthquake here. I don't know why he didn't just go into his Tangrowth, but you know, whatever, it's fine. Uh, as he r brings out the Weavile, we're gonna go into our own Magirna here on the Crash. He knocks off our Vest. That's not that bad, though. And we're gonna go for our own Floor Cannon, because not, no one just has Switch into Floor Cannon. Actually, that was a pretty good Switch into Floor Cannon, I guess, but we can Volt Switch here. We're gonna be a little bit faster, and we can go into what? I guess we'll go into Tangrowth, huh? See Giga Drains for a bit of HP. Um, I'm going to U-turn here, see what he wants to do. As he switches to Garchomp, we're going to take a lot of damage. However, 
we uh, can definitely, let's see, we can go Kingdra and Ice Beam. I don't think his um, Tangrowth will be able to take two. No, it will not. And we will be faster, so we're going to Ice Beam a second time. And Tangrowth is gone. That's going to make, <laughs> well, I was gonna say, that would make life for Swampert much easier, <laughs> except we sacked that because we're, uh, we're good at Pokemon, I swear. Anyways, let's go into Pelipper. We're going to sack that to get the rain up on the Fake Outs. Going to attempt to Roost here, but again, he's prop he Bullet Punched. Couldn't tell you why, but he did. So we'll Scald here. Maybe just wasting turn. I don't know what he's doing at this point, honestly. All right, goes for a high jump kick. Um, so we can go back into Kingdra here, and uh, looks like just pick off another Pokemon with Scald. I do not need to risk Hydro Pump. Scald will to KO something. That was the end of my reign, though. I forgot I don't have um, Swampert alive anymore. Okay, go. I need to. I need to hit this pump. Hey, let's go. Good shit, Kingdra. We got two turns of rain left. We are super chilling. Scald is definitely going to be enough enough to kill this Weavile. And then Ice Beam is going to take out the Garchomp. We're going to win that one. Nice. So Rain Team rain team makes it 2-0. But you know what? We got three games with the first team. We're going to get three games with this team. And then we're going to do the third team. And that's going to be it for the video. So this is a nice fast-paced video. This is, uh, this is good. I'm digging this. Let's get our third game with this Rain Team. And then we'll use the uh, super brain-dead Metacham Tapu Koko team. Uh, speaking of Tapu Koko, he's got Koko Halucha. I am extremely weak to this Mon. Not really, I have Garchomp. I'm like pretty weak to it though. Um, I'm gonna leave Magirna. Oh, he's got Landers. Um, I guess I'll leave my Garchomp actually, see if we can get rocks up early. <sighs> he needs Koko, of course he needs Koko. Um, we have to go Magirna here. See, Taunts, that's fine. We're going to attempt to Volt Switch here. I don't think he'd go straight to Landers. As, oh, he screams. Ooh, that's kind of spooky. Well, that means he does not have, um, he is not, uh, what's it called? He's not HP Ice. He's going to taunt me. That's fine. He tried to taunt twice. I don't know why, but we're able to get rid of Coco for no damage. So he's going to go into the Halucha. There's only a light, a light screen up, no reflect. So I'm actually going to go straight for the Continental Crush. Um, this will put him in range of my Greninja's Water Shuriken. Wow, maybe it won't put him in range of Water Shuriken. That's kind of crazy. Um... But yeah, we're still we're just gonna Stone Edge here, as he yeah he takes a lot of damage for that. Um, Pelipper should be able to take a hit to be honest. Pelipper should be able to take a hit, and I'm not confident that Water Shuriken will kill this to be honest. So we're gonna go Pelipper here. If he's Roost, that's that could be bad. I'm actually gonna Scald here in case he's Roost. As he is Roost, can we get a burn? No burn. We're gonna try for another Scald. As Acrobatics does a lot, and we get a burn, which is really good for us, really bad for him, obviously. Um, and I think we can actually save Pelipper and safely go into our Swampert because we'll definitely be able to take an Acrobatics. If he roosts, that's fine. We'll be able to knock him out. Maybe. We'll probably be able to knock him out with this Waterfall. Yeah, we do. High Jump Kick still does a ton of damage, though. Jesus. This Pokemon's crazy. It's going to go into his Magirna. I don't know why. We're going to Earthquake this. He's got He's going to pivot to, like, Gyarados. Come on. I know you're pivoting to Gyarados or freaking Landorus. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bite, though. I'm going to Earthquake anyways. As he doesn't. I don't know why he didn't just go Gyarados. That's actually crazy to me, but... Uh, we take those, I guess, as he's going to go into his Gyarados now. Uh, three turns of rain left, which means I should be able to go into Kingdra as he subs. That's kind of scary. We'll be able to break the sub with the Ice Beam. He Dragonances. We're still faster. We're going to drop a Draco on this Gyarados and not knock it out. That was anticlimactic. <laughs> um, I really can't let... He can't, he can't sub again. I can go... Oh, he might be faster. That could be bad. I'm going to go Pelipper to sack the Pelipper to the Crunch. And uh, I can go Greninja now and uh, get a kill with my Water Shuriken. Oh, please get a three. Oh, thank God. All right, that did a tiny bit less than I thought it would, but we are able to get the kill. This dies. This, like, super dies. What are you... Okay, forfeit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he had to go Mew there and force me out, but Rain able to take a 3-0 because Rain is really easy. And cool, let's use our third team. Where is it? There you are. So we got some super brain-dead Metacham Tapu Koko. I built this team in a solid, you know, 40 seconds, so if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But, um, yeah. Anywho, he's got Zapdos, which is pretty annoying for Metacham. I think Coco is a great lead here. His only grass type, or his only ground type is Swampert, and he doesn't... Oh, he's got Pelipper Swampert. That's actually... This, he's got a really weird-looking rain team, to be honest. Um, Ferrothorn's also a fantastic lead. I'm actually gonna lead Ferrothorn and try and get my rocks up immediately. We're gonna protect just to see if he's got the Heat Wave, which he does. All right, good to know. Uh, I don't have a great switch into this, unfortunately. Uh, I know I take a Heat Wave, though, but I want to keep this healthy. So I guess we're gonna... I guess we should go lander. So. Oh, he misses a Toxic. Oh, you know what? I don't even have freaking Stone Edge on this. That's dumb. Um, I will go Tapu Koko now. <laughs> and we're, we're, really, we're, really, we're really pushing it right now with this. I'm gonna go straight for the Thunderbolt, because uh, I don't have another play. 
Ooh, is he Z? Gigavolt Havoc. Alright, that's fine though, because we like super weakened that thing, and he does not have a fantastic Dark Pulse switch in. So we're just gonna go straight for that. As he goes into Ferrothorn, we get a crit. I'm gonna... Mm, gonna Dark Pulse again. Hey, we killed it. Nice. Good job. I wasn't 100% sure if that was gonna do it or not. Um, but it did, so that's good. He has his own Greninja. I feel like he could have gone into his own Greninja, to be honest, but... Are you Scarf? I'm gonna... I'm really just gonna assume this is Scarf right now. I don't know why else you would bring this out. Because he is Energy Ball, I'm assuming that's that means he's Scarf. I'm going to Leech Seed here, because I don't want Zapdos coming in for free, as he goes Pelipper, which is totally fine. Uh, we're just gonna get up our Stealth Rocks here, as he goes Zapdos, but now we can, like, absolutely... Oh, our Coco's dead, damn. We can absolutely take hits from this Zapdos. Um... I don't- yeah, if anything, he Heatwave, right? So we're gonna go Medicham as he does not burn us, thankfully. And we can pretty freely go for the uh, Ice Punch. As long as- hopefully we don't get static. As he is faster than me. I'm adamant. I'm stupid. Wow, good job, me. I'm great. Good job. Alright, well. Anywho, the Zapdos is dead. We wasted our, our Medicham. I forgot we're adamant, not Jolly. And I guess that was max speed Zapdos. I could've- I really should've just clicked Fake Out. It really, like, it would've done, like, pretty much the same damage to Swampert, so. If I was thinking for more than 10 seconds, I probably would have clicked Fake Out, but whatever. I feel like this dies to Dark Pulse, if we're being super honest. I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, Greninja's like, stupid. But he gets to go into his Swampert now. But this is why I kept my Ferrothorn healthy this whole time, is for the Swampert. Um, he's probably gonna Earthquake. I'm actually gonna go Landorus first, and then pivot into Hammer Arm. Interesting. Oh, he's super predicting the uh, Ferrothorn. Okay, well, we're gonna go uh, Ferrothorn now. I don't know why I'm saving Halucha, to be honest. It's pretty worthless at this point, but we're gonna go Pharaoh, and we're going to protect... Oh, he's gonna forfeit. All right, cool. Good job. I was gonna protect to stall out a turn of rain, but um, we can stall out every turn of rain if he forfeits. So, Medicoco takes game one, despite me playing it incredibly poorly. I need to remember I'm adamant, and that Zapdos does typically run... Not typically, but is known to run max speed. Um, anywho... Next game, we have Scolipede probably lead. He doesn't have any ground type. That is definitely a Tapu Koko lead IMO. We're just going to go straight for Thunderbolt. I don't care. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to taunt this. No hazards for you. As he tries to get up rocks. We can go into our own Ferrothorn on this and get our own Stealth Rocks up, which is cool. As he goes into Chandelure, this Pokemon is kind of scary, to be perfectly honest. It is definitely kind of scary. Um, I think we can go Landorus here. Uh, you know, I'm gonna risk the Greninja. He's got a, um, yeah, I figured he'd be sub, that's why I wanted to go into this. So, we can Water Shuriken to break the sub and get some damage on Shandy. Oh, actually, we just killed the Shandy, because Greninja is a cool fucking Pokemon. Good job, Greninja, I'm happy for you. Uh, he goes Alakazam. Never, never once have I had a switch into this Pokemon, if we're being perfectly honest. Um, but he's definitely not clicking Psychic here, so I think I can just go into my Landorus. He traces my Intimidate, which is pretty funny. He's got Dazzling Gleam, that's good to know. We're gonna go for the U-turn here as he goes into his Ferrothorn. That is totally fine because here comes the monster, uh, the Mega Metacham. Even if he clicks Protect here, I don't care. I'm going to High Jump Kick again as he... Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna High Jump Kick again. That that ain't stopping me, bro. And we... Okay, well, if we miss, that's gonna stop me, obviously. That's That sucks. That really sucks, but that's the game, I guess. So we can go into our Coco here. I know he's gonna go back out into his Ferrothorn. Um, so I'm actually gonna go into my Halucha here and try to just win the game. Although his Zapdos is at a lot of HP, so I probably should not have done that yet. Um, maybe I should just kick. I'm gonna... he could protect. That'd be pretty annoying. But these are always Swords Dance, so like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't protect on this, right? Yeah, he doesn't protect, because these are like typically Swords Dance. I'm gonna Swords Dance now, though, as he's probably... yeah, there we go. And, um... Acro should kill. <clears throat> Whoa, my voice. Acro should kill. That does a lot. 56, nice. That is a solid 2 at KO. He's going to sack the Ferrothorn. Uh, we might have just won. He's gonna... I think he's Protect. I mean, I'm faster anyways. I can just Acro twice. Yeah, I, I was thinking of Roosting there, but it's fine. This should die. Hollow is so strong. He's gonna go into his Finny. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I know this lives, but I'm gonna get some damage. Alright. That, alright, fucking, um, Halu just put in a ton of work, that's awesome. I think Gren just super wins at this point, so we're gonna, we're gonna abuse that. Dark Pulse easily gonna kill, he's gotta go into his Alakazam now. I can definitely, uh, just sack my, what am I gonna sack here? Uh, I'm gonna sack, I'm gonna sack, a sack Metacham here. Ooh, he's got that pure power. And now we can go into our Landorus, we are Choice Scarf, so we'll be faster, we can Earthquake him, he goes into Scolipede. We're still Choice Scarf. Oh, he traces the Intimidate, which is pretty cool. I don't think that matters, though. I just need a little bit of... Wait, what? Am I not Scarf? Am I slower than Landorus? That would be a tragedy. That would actually be a tragedy. Well, Water Shuriken, do your thing. One, two, not enough. Three. Oh, boy. This, this could be bad. 
Was I really slower than Zam with my scar? Did I? I need more speed on that boy. Dang. Um, hopefully he's not focus blast. Well, he is, but we live it. All right. So, <laughs> this is what happens when you build teams in in five minutes. You uh, you uh, <laughs> you make some mistake. How fast is Alakazam? I mean, I know how fast Alakazam is. Yeah, 438. How much speed do I need on my Scarf Lando to hit 438? Yeah, that I thought that's what I had. 196. Oh, nope, not even close. Wow, I need... Wait, so Lenders needs to hit... Alright, you know, I'm gonna mess with that later. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, mistakes were made, but we were able to, you know, put in some work. OU Blitz is super fun, and I'll uh, hopefully see you guys for a Draft League match in the near future. Peace.